the Rams team as a whole has surprised most of us. But at the same time, though, there's a special individual I want to look at, and it is their most valuable player on their team, Todd Gurley. And not only could he be the most valuable player on the Rams, he could be the most valuable player in the NFL. Now, Todd Gurley is one of these futuristic running backs, and I have talked about it in a previous video that I made last year, that the futuristic style running backs are usually your big running backs. They usually have some thickness to them, and they can also catch the ball out of the back here. Todd Gurley can easily do both, and he's definitely not a slow runner at all. Now, when I look at Gurley, obviously, there's some improvement on his offensive line. His offensive line definitely played a lot better, especially with the addition of Andrew Whitworth, but there are some guys playing the guard and center position who have definitely stepped their game up, and Todd Gurley has definitely took advantage of that. Now, when it comes to Gurley, I really like him as an overall player. My only real concern about him is his yards per carry. It's still good, but it's not fantastic. Some of the best running backs in the NFL can get five yards per carry when they're in their prime. But he's more of a guy that will get three um, yards per carry to four yards per carry, which is still pretty darn good at times because he usually leans more so to four than he does the three. But sometimes eh, he doesn't get the best uh, yards per carry and all that. But when it comes to it at all, he gets a lot on the goal line. Usually it's at the one-yard line, so a lot of that times can affect his yards per carry because they're just handing him off at the one-yard line. And technically, if he gets, let's just say, one carry, and it only goes for one yard because the end zone is only one yard away. So it does play a little bit of fact. But when I look at Gurley, I definitely think he's a good baller out there. He definitely plays hard on every play. And the Rams have always done a good job of running backs, ever since their Eric Dickerson's days, or maybe even before that. But... Eric Dickerson, Marshall Falk, and Steven Jackson have all emerged from the Rams organization. And a lot of people don't really focus on the Rams, especially before 2017. Ever since between the Gray Show on Turf during the Mike Martz era to now, no one really cared about the Rams. But hey, they usually have good running back play. It looks as if that even though having Sean McVay there, who might win Coach of the Year, and he might be my pick for Coach of the Year, has definitely developed Todd Gurley into a great running back because uh, in 2015, he might have had a good rookie campaign and whatnot, but in 2016, he kind of fell off. He looked like he was kind of getting exploited out there. He might have been a one-year wonder, but obviously they let go of Jeff Fisher, who they actually wanted to keep, but hey, Eric Dickerson, a Rams running back, actually wanted him fired, so obviously McVay eventually got the job, and hey, I think uh, Eric Dick I think all Rams fans should should not thank Eric Dickerson for not only his play on the field, but getting Jeff Fisher fired. And I just uh, put this in perspective that Todd Gurley is definitely, definitely the best player of the Rams. Now, Jared Goff, he's definitely a good quarterback. He's not fantastic. I feel like this team, uh, if you take off Todd Gurley, the team's a lot different. I think he's a real baller. Jared Goff, I still got some criticism of him. He's still a good quarterback, but he kind of reminds me of Matt Ryan a little bit. And if you like Matt Ryan, hey, that's fine with you. I'm not personally a big Matt Ryan guy myself. But if you look at Todd Gurley, Todd Gurley is the real vocal point of this Rams team.